Hello everybody! In this video I am going to present you a project conceived by Alba Santo and Elena Pecchioni of the Department of Earth Sciences of University of Florence, walking through Florence to discover the stone-built cultural heritage. The historic center of Florence is a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1982. Its architectural buildings and works of art represent the historical memory of the city, the result of a continuous artistic creation that lasted over the centuries, from the Middle Age to the modernity. Florentine monuments are mainly made of rocks outcropping close to Florence and its surrounding areas. The use of rocks coming from the nearby outcrops allowed limited transport costs of material. Indeed, the main stone materials used in the architecture of Florence are the sandstones, in particular Pietra Serena and Pietraforte. These stones were extracted from the quarries in the Florentine hills. In addition to these, many other stone materials characterize the churches, palaces and monuments of Florence. To deepen the knowledge of the Florentine stone materials, the progressive web app Florence Rockin' Art was created and is available for iOS and Android devices. It is delivered over the internet through a browser interface, so it can reach anyone, anywhere, and on any device. Florence Rockin' Art is addressed to all those who are interested in discovering the monuments of Florence by carefully observing the stone materials used in the Florentine architecture during the different historical epochs. The web app contains short historical notes and detailed geological, mineralogical and petrographic characteristics of the natural and artificial materials of which the monuments are constituted. Florence can be easily visited by walking, so the possible routes are endless and studded with countless architectural and historical artistic highlights. In this presentation, we propose a little selection of the most significant and suggestive. One of the best ways to observe Pietra Serena and Pietraforte sandstones is through the walk number one starting in Piazza Santissima Annunziata and reaching Piazza della Signoria. During the walk, we can see several buildings made of Pietraforte and Pietra Serena sandstones. In particular, in Piazza Santissima Annunziata, it is possible to look at Basilica della Santissima Annunziata, Loggiato dei Servi di Maria and Spedale degli Innocenti or realized with Pietra Serena. Pietra Serena sandstone is classified as a lithic arcos with high content of clay matrix. Already employed in the Etruscan Roman periods, it was used in Florence mainly during the Renaissance for flooring, stairways, squares, columns, pilasters, cornices, and other decorative architectural elements. Pietra Serena sandstone has been widely used for decorative purposes due to its high utility, but it has low durability. The second stop during this walk is in Piazza della Signoria, representing the Pietraforte Square, because it is surrounded by Pietraforte sandstone buildings. Here we can admire Palazzo Vecchio, seat of the Municipality of Florence, and several other monuments, such as Loggia dei Lanzi and Palazzo Guccioni. Pietraforte sandstone is classified as a lithic arenite with high content of recrystallized micritic calcite. It was the most used building material in medieval Florence. 
the use continued in Renaissance, also for the road paving. Pietroforte sandstones are used mainly as cladding material for most of the Florentine palaces due to its high resistance. The main differences between the two sandstones consist in a very fine grain sides crossed by veins of calcite and the presence of convoluted laminations in the Pietroforte sandstone, while the Pietra Serena sandstone is characterized by a medium coarse grain size and is more compact. The suggested walk number two starts from the Basilica di Santa Maria Novella, located in the homonymous square, continues in Piazza San Giovanni with the Cathedrale di Santa Maria del Fiore, and ends in Piazza Santa Croce, where it is possible to admire Basilica di Santa Croce. These three churches display an external revetment realized through the use of three colors, white, red, and green. The used rocks are respectively Epon marble, red limestones, and serpentinite. The red rocks are two. The first is marley limestone, a sedimentary rock of clastic origin and massive aspect. It can be classified as a turbid micrit due to the presence of clay components and ferrogeneous pigment responsible for the red color. The other red rock is an ammonitic limestone, a sedimentary rock of chemical clastic origin and with nodular aspect. It can be classified as a pelagic limestone, more or less ammonitiferous, or marly and nodular with a hematitic pigment in variable concentration. Both the red rocks display a great ornamental effect. Their quarries are in Tuscany. The white rock is marble, a metamorphic carbonatic rock deriving from a sedimentary protolith having a limestone composition. Most of the marble used in Florence comes from the Apon Alps in Tuscany. During the Renaissance, the Epon marble became a real distincting feature of statuary art, with the consecration by Michelangelo of a lithotype that still today represents a real territorial excellence. The green rock is serpentinite. The serpentinite used in the Florentine architecture has been historically referred to the Ophiolitic complex, outcropping in Tuscany in different localities such as in Pruneta, Prato, Pistoia, Siena and Volterra. The serpentinite is a metamorphic rock. This rock was used since ancient times for ornamental and building purposes. The so-called Verde di Prato, a variety of serpentinite, is one of the characteristic lithotypes of Florentine architecture. In addition to the main and widespread rocks described so far, it is worth dwelling on other rocks little used but no less interesting. There's a route that allows observing some of these rocks. It is the walk number three, which starts from Colonna di San Zanobi in Piazza San Giovanni, continues to Fontana del Nettuno in Piazza della Signoria, and ends to Colonna della Giustizia in Piazza Santa Trinita. Colonna di San Zanobi is realized with caristium marble, an impure chlorite marble. This is a metamorphic rock not of Italian origin. The quarry locations are in Greece, in southern Euboea. This marble was imported to Rome in the first century. One of the most particular material constituting the Fontana del Nettuno is the Breccia di Seravezza. It is a polygenic breccia that has undergone low-grade metamorphism. Marble and dolomitic clusters of variable dimensions are generally set in a hematitic and philadic chloritoid matrix. The oldest quarries of this rock, exploited since the Medici time, are in Versilia, in the municipalities of Seravezza 
and of Tazema, province of Lucca. It is also called Medician Breccia because it was largely employed by Cosimo I de Medici. The stem of the Colonna della Giustizia in Piazza Santa Trinita was entirely made of granite. The granitic rocks have been little used in Florence. These rocks mainly come from different localities, but in particular from different quarries in the Elba Island. Granite is a very common type of intrusive igneous rock. Due to its high hardness and durability, it has gained widespread use throughout human history as a construction stone, a very good material to prepare aggregate for interior and exterior cladding and for several other purposes. Elban granitic rocks are known and used from prehistory. As you have seen, the web app Florence Rock in Art allows you to discover a different and little known Florence through the knowledge of material culture. Therefore, many thanks for your attention and have a nice walk around Florence.